Hello, people of God. This is Jody Matthews, Bible teacher, especially Bible teacher of the book of Revelation, Revelation Simply Put. Today is April 7th, Tuesday, April 7th, 2020, and I'm chronicling or documenting these strange days known as the COVID-19 days. Uh, I want to just let you in on a little something. This actual documentary or this journal entry really goes with the March 27th date, but unfortunately I stored my new footage in a old external drive. That right there is a message within itself. Made me think of uh, putting new wine into old wine skins. You just can't do it. And I end up losing my footage because of that. But I want to go ahead and get ready for tonight's study. And uh, I want to answer the question, the COVID-19 virus, is this the pale horse represented in Revelation chapter 6, verse 8? So let's go ahead and get right into the study. I already got all my notes ready for tonight. But let's take a quick look at this. Revelation chapter 6, verse 8. And it reads, And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was, was death and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword, number one, and with hunger, number two, and with death, three, and with the beast of the earth. So when we think about the pale horse, when you start to think about the pale horse in the book of Revelation, let's take a look at this. The pale horse does not run by itself. The pale horse, you must remember this, runs with three other horses. The pale horse runs with the white horse, the red horse, and the black horse. And then comes along the pale horse. And these four are known as the horses, the four horses of the apocalypse. Now, when you think of the book of Revelation, they will run during the tribulation period. It will be a very a special period of time in which a lot of unnatural things are going to be taking place within the earth. So when people began to assign the COVID-19 virus to the pale horse, well, let's see if it really fits. Okay, so let's go back. Let's see examine this verse it says with the pale horse comes uh four things within the pale horse and it says it will kill with the sword and with hunger with death and the beast of the earth so it will kill with sword that means that there will be great war within the earth right now as you can see the world is trying to solve it they are we are not at war even though yes there's rumors of war it, no there will be many wars during this time that's what the pale horse is going to bring with it not only just a pestilence it's going to bring war it's going to bring hunger and i know that there is hunger that takes place right now but it will be a major hunger it is going to go up it won't be pockets of hunger or starvation in the earth it is going to go up in a major way it also will bring death and the beast of the earth will also take place in in dealing with the well the pale horse it's going to help to bring death to the earth understand this too with the pale horse the bible also says and with the pale horse uh one fourth of the earth will die one fourth understand this right now as it stands the covet virus has killed 81,000 has caused the death of 81,000 oh uh, that is not one fourth of the earth understand this one fourth of the earth out of seven billion people seven billion people it will be one point seven billion people who will die when the pale horse comes so if we take a look at this the pale horse number one he does not run in a singular fashion he runs in a quadruple fashion don't forget he comes with the black horse the red horse and the black horse and the white horse and the pale horse is the fourth one and with the pale horse comes four more things that tag along with that and and they are terrible yes they are terrible and things are good it's going to be much more worse than what we call the covid virus in this season that we're in and they run during a specific time period the seven year tribulation period which is 42 months 1260 days split into two halves first half the tribulation second half the great tribulation and they will come at the onslaught on site of the tribulation period so let's go ahead and do a recap of this it uh the pale horse must fit 
COVID virus must fit the pale horse. Well, let's see, does it fit? Why will the co why is COVID-19 not the pale horse spoken about in Revelation? Number one, it travels in tandem with three other horses. So we must see the other three horses. Number two, the pale horse will kill billions and not millions. COVID virus is still killing people in the thousands. Let's see if it will hit the millions, and I pray that it does not. And number three, it will take place during a period of social crowding and not social distancing. So understand this. I'm going to explain that in the next video. The COVID virus, we are in a period of social distancing and not social crowding. The pale horse, which is a part of the tribulation period, which takes place during the seven year tribulation, will take place during a time of crowding. How do we know this? because it will take place during the time of Armageddon, which will be a crowded place. Join me in my next video and you'll begin to understand that. I wanna encourage you, stay in God's presence, stay in his power, and do not be afraid because God is with us and he is making himself known unto the saints and unto the world. Until next time, be encouraged in the Lord. God bless.